in which Christopher Robin leads an expedition to the North Pole. One fine day, Pooh had stumped up to the top of the forest to see if his friend Christopher Robin was interested in bears at all. At breakfast that morning, a simple meal of marmalade spread lightly over a honeycomb or two, he had suddenly thought of a new song. It began like this. Sing ho for the life of a bear. When he had got as far as this, he scratched his head and thought to himself, that's a very good start for a song. But what about the second line? He tried singing ho two or three times, it didn't seem to help. Perhaps it would be better, he thought, if I sang hi for the life of a bear. So he sang it. But it wasn't. Very well, then, he said. I shall sing that first line twice. And perhaps if I sing it very quickly, I shall find myself singing the third and fourth lines for I'm trying to think of them. And that will be a good song. <laughs> now then. Sing ho for the life of a bear. Sing ho for the life of a bear. I don't care much if it rains or snows, cause I got a lot of honey on my nice clean nose. I don't care much if it snows or falls, cause I got a lot of honey on my nice clean paws. Sing ho for a bear, sing ho for a pool, and I'll have a little something in a pool. He was so pleased with this song that he sang it all the way to the top of the forest. If I go on singing it much longer, he thought, it'll be time for a little something, and then the last line won't be true. So he turned it into a hum instead. Christopher Robin was sitting outside his door, putting on his big boots. As soon as he saw the big boots, Pooh knew an adventure was going to happen. And he brushed the honey off his nose with the back of his paw, spruced himself up as well as he could, so as to look ready for anything. Good morning, Christopher Robin, he called out. Hello, Pooh Bear. I can't get this boot on. Well, that's bad. Do you think you could very kindly lean against me, because I keep pulling so hard that I fall over backwards? Pooh sat down, dug his feet into the ground, and pushed hard against Christopher Robin's back. And Christopher Robin pushed hard against his, and pulled and pulled at his boot until he got it on. <sighs> That's that. What do we do next? We are all going on an expedition, said Christopher Robin as he got up and brushed himself. Thank you, Pooh. Going on an expedition? I don't think I've ever been on one of those. Where are we going on this expedition? Expedition, silly old bear. It's got an X in it. Oh, I know. <laughs> but he didn't really. We're going to discover the North Pole. Oh, what is the North Pole? He asked. It's just the thing you discover, said Christopher Robin carelessly, not being quite sure of himself. Oh, I see, said Pooh. Our bears are good at discovering it. Of course they are. And Rabbit and Kangaroo and all of you. It's an expedition. That's what an expedition means, a long line of everybody. Better tell the others to get ready. Why, well, see if my gun's all right. And we must all bring provisions. Bring what? Things to eat. Oh, said Pooh happily. I thought you said provisions. I'll go and tell them. And he stumped off. The first person he met was Rabbit. How, oh, Rabbit, is that you? Let's pretend it isn't and see what happens. I've got a message for you. I'll give it to him. We're all going on an expedition with Christopher Robin. What is it when we're on it? Sort of boat, I think, said Pooh. Oh, that sort. Yes. And we're going to discover a pole or something, or was it a mole? Anyhow, we're going to discover it. 
We are, are we? said Rabbit. Yes. And we've got to bring pro things to eat with us, in case you want to eat them. Now I'm going down to Piglet's. Talk hango, will you? He left Rabbit and hurried down to Piglet's house. The Piglet was sitting on the ground at the door of his house, blowing happily at a dandelion, and wondering whether it would be this year, next year, sometime or never. He had just discovered that it would be never, and was trying to remember what it was, and hoping it wasn't anything nice, when Pooh came up. Oh, Piglet, said Pooh excitedly. We're going on an expedition, all of us, with things to eat, to discover something. To discover what? asked Piglet anxiously. Oh, just something. Nothing fierce. Christopher Robin didn't really say anything about the fierce. He just said it with an X. It isn't their necks I mind. It's their teeth. But if Christopher Robin is coming, I don't mind anything. In a little while, they were already at the top of the forest, and the exploitation started. First came Christopher Robin and Rabbit, then Piglet and Pooh, and then Kanga with Rue in her pocket, and Owl, then Eeyore, and at the end, in a long line, all Rabbit's friends and relations. I didn't ask them, explained Rabbit carelessly. They just came. They always do. They can march at the end after Eeyore. What I say, said Eeyore, is that it's unsettling. I didn't want to come on this expo, what Pooh said. I only came to oblige. But here I am. And if I'm at the end of the expo, what we're talking about, then let me be the end. But if every time I want to sit down for a little rest, I have to brush away half a dozen of rabbits' smaller friends and relations first, then this isn't an expo, whatever it is at all. It's simply a confused noise. That's what I say. I see what he all means, said Al. If you ask me... I'm not asking anybody, said he. I'm just telling everybody. We can look for the North Pole, or we can play Here We Go Gathering Nuts and May with the end part of an ant's nest. It's all the same to me. There was a shout from the top of the line. Come on, called Christopher Robin. Come on, called Pooh and Piglet. Come on, called Al. We're starting, said Rabbit. I must go. And he hurried off to the front of the expedition with Christopher Robin. All right, said Eon. We're going. Only don't blame me. So off they went to discover the pole. And as they walked, they chatted to each other of this and that, except Pooh, who was making up a song. This is the first verse, he said to Piglet, when he was ready with it. First verse of what? My song. What song? This one. Which one? Well, if you listen, Piglet, you'll hear it. How do you know I'm not listening? Pooh couldn't answer that one, so he began to sing. They all went off to discover the pole, Howl and pig, little rabbit and all. It's a thing you discover, as I've been told, By owl and pig, little rabbit and all. E.R. Christopher Robin, who our rabbit's relations all went to. And where the pole was, none of them knew. Sing hey for owl and rabbit and all. Hush, said Christopher Robin, turning round to Pooh. We're just coming to a dangerous place. Hush, said Pooh, turning round quickly to Piglet. Hush, said Kanga to Owl while Rue said hush several times to himself very quietly. Hush, said Al to Eeyore. Hush, said Eeyore in a terrible voice to all Rabbit's friends and relations, and hush, they all said hastily to each other all down the line until it got to the last one of all. And the last and smallest friend and relation was so upset to find that the whole expedition was saying hush to him that he buried himself head downwards in a crack in the ground and stayed there for two days until the danger was over. And they went home in a great hurry and lived quietly with his aunt ever afterwards. His name was Alexander Beetle.